we encourage people to develop, if you like, the muscle of becoming more reflective, self-reflective, and, and draw strength from that, and draw courage from that, and draw, hopefully, ultimately, wisdom from that. And in a world that's unpredictable, volatile, lots of curveballs thrown at you, it's fundamentally wisdom and courage that you need to, to navigate through, because systems and processes aren't going to do it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that, you know, the wisdom and the courage that Paul talks about, in addition to that, being savvy. I mean, I think you've got to learn to be savvy to survive. You can't be naive. You know, there are real pressures. People are working in a, often in a highly charged political environment. And so what sort of strategies do they need to learn to, to, to prosper in that? And, and you know, resilience, uh, reflection, um, being smart and how they interact with um, various stakeholders, I think is, is, is incredibly important. Because sometimes people can feel really disempowered and driven by system um, dynamics. And we, we give them authorship uh, of their own performance, I think, but we also encourage them to remain or become and remain learners, take a learning yeah. attitude yeah. to how they operate. And trying to challenge, I guess, this idea that in senior roles it's about just how smart you are or how much you know. It's it's really about how how much you can learn in an ongoing way. You you know your capacity to keep on learning, and reflecting, um, and the resilience. You know, we haven't really spoken about resilience, mm. but it's a huge part of um, the problem as well. Actually, building up people's capacity to you know keep the distance and cope with the pressures and the stresses and and keep uh, learning and reflecting as they go the increasing uh, volatility uh, of um, public mood uh, can shift very quickly these days um, so the, the job of communication has become progressively more complex uh, if you compare it situation now to 10 15 years ago um, you're constantly trailing uh, where the frame is uh, on particular issues because it's now shaped as much on social media as it is through you know the conventional media let alone government communication so keeping control of the story of the way we think about things the way we talk about things the kinds of values that we we bring to the table when we try to process complex issues mm -hmm. i think has has become progressively more difficult yeah. and finally um you know the whole globalization phenomenon uh, which continues to reverberate open borders uh, high you know, highly interactive world that we're in now you know uh, 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 an earthquake followed by a tsunami in Japan uh, triggers uh, a nuclear incident in Japan which then triggers changes in energy policy in Italy and Germany three weeks later you know, it's, so it's those kinds of things that, you know, it's not enough anymore to, to know your own backyard because uh, the really powerful uh, um, events may take place a long way from your backyard but may nevertheless impinge upon how you run your backyard. Mm -hmm.